What's happening, everybody? Sean joined again by my son, Trey. And today on Reactions to the Classics, we have a song reaction for our man, Scott. Big Enough by Keith Richards from his debut mm -hmm. solo album back in 1988. I should know this song, Trey. I was a junior <laughs> in high school. I don't think I do. But before we even get into the song, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button below. Check out our social media, especially our Facebook group, which Scott always actually brings fantastic, well That's thought right. out things in and also uh check out our twitch below we have friday night live streams at six o'clock uh central time and all kinds of other fun stuff going on there and if you would like us to react to a song an album whatever any any level of support we much appreciate check out our patreon link below that's right and uh, i'm just gonna take what scott said about this too yeah. man he he wrote a nice write-up he said uh this song um big enough um from what many say was the best quote rolling stones album of the 80s talk is cheap which was recorded with his band the expensive Winos. What a great mm. name. <laughs> Many also credit Keith's release of such a high quality killer album as what drove Mick Jagger to give up his solo dreams and get the band back together. Yeah, so. and so I know a little bit about this. They had a falling out mm -hmm. because Mick wanted to stay with the times, you know, and try to change their music to try to stay relevant. And uh, Mick didn't want to screw up their legacy. He wanted mm. to stay with their roots. So they kind of had a falling out. And, and as Scott said, I, I did some reading. And a lot of people think that because this album was so good, uh, Mick was like, oh, okay, wait a minute, man. Maybe <laughs> let's I better... Let's bring the stones back. Because <laughs> they can survive without me. So, uh, yeah. So, mm. I expect this to be a uh, a banging tune because Scott always brings Definitely. great stuff, man. So, we'll uh, have the lyrics pulled up on our respective computers here. Listen to the track and then uh, see what we think of it at the end. Thanks again, Scott. Let's get Thanks, some Scott. Mr. Richards up in here. This is the opener, by the way. There it is, man. I'm digging it.
enough. Mr. Keith Richards, man, I did, I'll tell you what, man, that was a legit, genuine surprise, a pleasant surprise, but I didn't know Keith had the funk in him like that. No, I didn't, I didn't expect either, and I was seeing here, Ooh. bass guitar by Bootsy Collins, Ooh. and then the alto sax. Yeah, because that was, that, that line was fantastic. And the alto sax, Maceo Parker, so those were the two things, that they just came in on these tracks. Okay, um, interesting. So, yeah, I mean, the, the star of this thing, well... One is it's bugging me because Keith sounds like somebody, and I just, I just cannot play. <laughs> can't, it'll, it'll hit me in an hour, right? But I, mean, I can't no, bring it back right. into here. But uh, his uh, delivery immediately, I'm like, golly, what does that sound what, like? What's he? You no, know, man, I uh, dang, I really, really that took me by surprise with how just uh, I, you know, you think Keith Richards, you're thinking if anything, maybe like a bluesy right type of uh, yeah, you know, just nice rock and roll but the musicianship uh, was ooh. top notch on this thing no and then yeah the the way the the saxophone came in towards the latter half of the song i thought was fantastic just a a nice one minute jam sesh at yeah. the end um and lyrically man i wonder just knowing the backstory to this a little bit this kind of seemed and the fact he put this as track number one keith's kind of flexing here man maybe saying uh no time for weeping baby no tears need flow let no one tell you how you should grow maybe let no one tell tell keith how to grow as an artist or do this or that and then of course the ready willing able and big enough maybe keith saying i'm big enough to be a star on my own I don't right and i stones. think the next one run in the front door run out the back wall in your face and mm. a gun in your back yeah. Now this might not You're be trapped, at all. Yeah. It, it might not all be at Mick, but you know maybe it's like you know you're going to do it my way or the band's not going to stay together. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll just do my own thing. <laughs> no, so maybe right. that's what this is at. Maybe it isn't, but surprising to me because uh, that I, I expected some like really huge thought provoking yeah. uh, lyrics because Scott is a super smart guy and he usually brings <laughs> these songs that are that are just layered in these great deep meanings mm. and. Uh, I enjoyed this one because it was something different. Oh, yeah. Great musicianship that he also knows that we enjoy. So, oh, fantastic yeah. choice. I, I really dug this. What uh, What are you feeling uh, first listen on the rating on this one? I'm going to go with 7.75 mm. because I just think... That's what I'm feeling, too. I think the musicianship, really good. like, I'd like to watch this live, right? Oh, yeah. This is one of those things, man, let's just jam this thing and lay it down. I, I like. I always like me some funk-inspired music up in here, man, especially... Who, who knew Keith Richards uh, would be bringing that? I, re I respect Mr. Richards, man. Uh, you know, what's the, the famous thing? If uh, Keith Richards and Ozzy Osbourne are still alive out here rocking after all they've done, you can you can go and, uh, and overcome as yeah. well. Uh, that always uh, cracks me up when I see that, uh, little memes and stuff like that. But anyways, y'all, let us know what you think of this uh, track down below uh, and this record, man. Might have to give this one a spin. Only 11 tracks, I'm yeah. sure, especially if it's so well thought of. Um, and uh, thanks as always, Dad. Yeah, and, it's a fun one. Until next time, happy listening, and we will see ya.